Uh, next up, Seattle. I know this I'm in love with. The Seattle Kraken is the new NHL franchise for the Pacific Northwest. I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. I'm excited. That little video that they, they leaked out was awesome. Dude. I like these unis. I like this, you know. I like this. Uh, I like the mascot name. We I like finally the have a name. mascot that's kind of badass, oh, right? Man, dude, it, it soon as. Like, we don't have a lot of yes. badass mascots out oh, there. But a Kraken is awesome. So <laughs> I, I was excited and I was super biased when, when Nashville got the Predators. And I was like, oh, that's kind of a cool mascot right yeah predators is cool like yeah but the majority of all the mascots that we deal with in sports are pretty lame okay (laughs) i thought they hit a home run with a kraken got a badass mascot oh yeah i like this hey alonzo chico jumped in on youtube he said what's up suge knight and brian (laughs) (laughs) liking the looks today i see all right all right i'm in with it uh, Joseph said, I'm waiting for the Godzillas. Look, I think Kraken's cooler than Godzilla. I do too. I do too. And I mean, it's, it's just cool. So they basically took the Seattle Mariners color scheme and made a hockey uniform with it. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I could not be happier. A Kraken is so much cooler than a Mariner. <laughs> oh, oh, mil- <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, yes, yes. But it's just, I like the color scheme. I, I like, I like the theme with the technology that we have in, in like these sports arenas and the show that they can put on before like big weekend home games or playoff home games, you could do a lot with Kraken. Oh, a hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, this was this was a good move by them. I'm I'm for big it. Fan. I'm all in. Uh, God, Damien, I'm not reading that. <laughs> I feel like I'm ten years old again, liking the team because of the team name. Oh yes, but oh, I am. I'm very excited for next year's. NHL season to follow this team. Yeah, to see what's going to happen. So we we had the Vegas Golden Knights. Now we've got the Seattle Kraken. Uh, I'm excited. I mean, I'm we'll pumped. see what happens with them. But yeah, they, it definitely got me excited about hockey for a little bit. I love the team name. Seattle, good job. Round of applause. You got to love it. All right. That's going to wrap up the show. I don't think anything's broken. Nope. Not a thing. Wonderful. Chris, is there anything you think we need to hit? No, that's it. Let's Not get today. out of here. We're going to be going a little early again tomorrow for anybody that wants to dive on in with us. I think it's about 3 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. Um, Matt finished this up. He said, are we just going to let third graders come up with names for teams? How dare you besmirch the Kraken? You don't like the Kraken, Matt? How dare you? It, you know what? He's a fan of uh, of the Bulldogs. So, it's all good. I understand where you're coming from. That's buddy. generic. <laughs> I don't know that Bulldogs would work well in Seattle. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Either way. I mean, look, I'm wearing a Red Sox jersey. I like a Tiger. Like, most team names are pretty boring. Uh, Joseph said, you forgot about Kim Kardashian getting divorced, just saying there's a chance. Um, Yeah, no. I don't think they're divorced, are they? No, and I don't think they're getting divorced either. Like, we all know Kanye's got his, his bipolar issues. We... Yes, I understand. Listen, you know. the key to a happy relationship is Adam. Cor- this is this is something I've stolen from Adam Corolla. Give credit where credit is due, but this is the truth. It's two TiVos and a lot of square footage. That's <laughs> well, it. For, like for him, he's in uh, he's in Montana right now, and she's in L.A. So, well, yeah, I mean that's a lot of damn square footage. You own multiple houses. That's even better. That's got to be a lot of TiVos. But but living living in the same house, they got like twenty five thousand square feet. As long as you have your TiVo and I have my TiVo, they go weeks without seeing each other and living under the same roof. You got that right. Damien said, Listen, "Question: that, That's how you make tough relationships last." Now you got now, that if right. If you lived in a studio apartment. Shit's going to get real quick, and it's going to end fast. Yes, but if you only got one TV, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Damien said, question, what's this report of the MLB having 16 teams playoff? Uh, well, it, so that is the thing. It, it's passed all the proper places except for with the owners. It's got to be approved by the owners, and it's got to be approved before the first pitch tonight, which means if the first game gets rained out, they've got – even longer until like 9 p.m. Central or whatever time. about three hours to buy. So, you know, we'll see. Um, I mean, I would assume that they will pass it. That will probably make it a little bit better for this season 
so that we can actually see the best teams get into the playoffs because, you know, with only 60 games, we're not sure that that's what that would mean. But, hey, I mean, I'm game for whatever. Give me more playoff baseball. I love playoff baseball. So I don't know how they're going to do 16 teams, but. I think they're going to just do multiple one-game eliminations like they do. Then let's do it. Instead of having the one-game play-in, which is unbelievable, by the way. I love that one-game play-in. If so they're do gonna eight do like one game play two one game play in, so you got four teams that do it, then then I'm fine with that. Hey, I am so in. Well, I guess they have two now, one in each division. So if they have four of those, that would be basically you would add four teams to the playoffs. Hey, I'm in. I'm in. That Let's doesn't do bother it. me. That the, those one one game play in games are awesome. They are so intense. So intense. All right, I think we fit on enough for to uh, for Let's get today. the hell out of here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, everybody go to winningcureseverything.com. Make sure that you get the podcast. You are subscribed to all the places that you need to be subscribed to and that you have left a nice review over on Apple Podcasts, of course. Uh, leave a nice review there. Share the show out. Tell your friends about it. Go over to sportsbookreview.com. SBRpicks.com is the other site. And make sure that you are on their YouTube page that you have subscribed over there. All of our college football content. We'll begin over there beginning in August. And, yes, we are going to have a college football season of some sort. I would about 99.9999% guarantee it. So, winningcureseverything.com, sportsbookreview.com. For Chris, I'm Gary. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We will see you tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.